everyone. Today I want to tell you guys five tips to help making a military move easier for you. All right, so five things that can help make your military move easier. It can be tough, especially when you're doing it yourself. Sometimes you only get like a week or two notice that the military is moving you, right? So a few things to help. First, declutter, okay? Start getting rid of everything you don't want anymore, anything you don't need, just get rid of it. I took about two weeks, I went room to room. Uh, each day I would pick one room and I would declutter that entire room. Clothes, toys, random garbage that kids stick in places, like the 90th picture that someone drew, I just got rid of it, okay? Don't be afraid to get rid of stuff. So, first tip is to de clutter just get rid of all of that stuff if you don't love it just kiss it goodbye number two make a plan sit down with your spouse and decide how you want the house to be packed do you want to pack room by room so kids room bathroom laundry room whatever or do you want to pack by items all the books in one box all the toys in another box all of your clothes and suitcases Decide what you want to do and talk about it. We are less than 30 days from moving and it's starting to get stressful. If you don't communicate, it can really create a lot of stress between you and your spouse, okay? And maybe they have a different idea than what you have of how you want things to be packed. So make a plan together so that you kind of are both on board with what should happen and how things should be packed to get ready for the move. Number three, don't procrastinate, okay? I know sometimes you have all of this notice, but time goes by so fast. We had nine months notice. We are now less than 30 days, and we have maybe 10 boxes packed. And this is a household of five people, two dogs, a business, and nothing really essentially has been done. Um, Part of our plan is to wait for my husband's uh, time off before our move to pack. So I'm not stressing out too much, but don't procrastinate. Don't wait till two days before you're supposed to be out of your house to start moving. You will regret it so much. Start packing early, as early as you can. All those things you don't need, holiday stuff, winter clothes or summer clothes, books you haven't read in a hundred years that you still wanna keep, your favorite childhood memorabilia. Things you don't use every day, okay? Start packing that stuff ahead of time. Get it out of the way and done with so you will be less stressed out in those final days before moving. Number four, ask for help. There are so many people that can help you. Even if you feel like you don't know a lot of people, reach out to maybe anyone in your spouse's command. Um, you can reach out to neighbors, you can reach out to church friends. I have had friends and people from church asking how they can help. Um, and part of my big thing is I'm more than happy to have people come help me pack my house and clean my house to move. I don't want people packing crap, which is why number one is so important to declutter. When we moved here, we had people help us and I could not oversee it all. I had a newborn two little kids, it wasn't gonna happen. And when we got here, I opened boxes that literally had garbage in them, or like dirty plates, like just the weirdest, weirdest stuff. And stuff that we didn't even want or need, but I didn't have time and I didn't declutter first. So if you've already decluttered and started to make a plan, it makes it really easy to ask for help. Someone can come in, if you say pack my kitchen, you know it's all the things you already want to keep and things that you use. Number five, label everything. I know towards the end it can get um, short on time and maybe you feel like you're not gonna have a chance to label stuff or you're just throwing stuff in boxes and getting it out the door, right? If you follow these other tips, hopefully you don't get to that point, but label everything. Kitchen, where it needs to go, and then what's in the box, pots and pans, right? So you know what you're doing, it's less stressful when you get to where you're going. Labeling can also be very helpful for people that are helping you unpack, getting things to the right rooms 
and when you're unpacking it's going to be so much easier if you know what's in every box writing miscellaneous everywhere is just going to be a disaster for you in the end i promise so don't do it try the best you can to really put what room it needs to go into and what's in that box so you can find your stuff because moving is so stressful don't have that extra stress guys do you guys want a bonus tip i'll give you a bonus tip ready here is a bonus tip you're getting everything ready and you're doing all the packing first take some time to like take a step back from all the hard work and treat yourself go have like dinner out or something go get ice cream go have some fun to relieve the stress second bonus tip don't leave all the heavy cleaning for when you're getting ready to move out if you're so worried with all the packing Sometimes cleaning gets left on the back burner, pun intended, and you're just stressed out. Have a cleaning schedule so that packing and cleaning can kind of go hand in hand. And when you get all your stuff in the moving truck, you can just like walk out, you're done because the cleaning's already been taken care of, which also goes hand in hand with asking for help. I have lots of people helping me clean. I'm excited. So if you have any questions, um, things that you can do to help make a move easier. I'm not going into the specifics on this video of paperwork, um, which is important for a military move or orders, or if you're doing it yourself, if you're having movers, I'll do a separate video for that. These were just five quick tips to help everything go smoothly for you. If you have any questions, comment below. I will be more than happy to answer them for you. And keep an eye out for some of our other videos about the Diddy moves, um, having movers move you, and how to get all your paperwork into housing so that everything is stress-free for you. Have a good day!